A bunch of tips for your Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5. Timestamps are down in the description. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. For this first tip, I have a video playing on the main screen. And I want to go ahead and close it up and continue it on the outer cover screen. What happened to my video? We'll go ahead and press the power button and it's gone. I want to be able to continue apps on the main outer screen. Let's go ahead and take care of that. Swipe down to open up your quick toggles menu. Tap on the settings icon. Scroll down until you get to display. And then in the display section, you want to scroll all the way down until you see this option, continue apps on cover screen. Go ahead and tap on that. This is going to give you a couple options, the ability to turn on all apps so they get displayed on the outer cover screen, or we can selectively go through and pick which apps we want to continue on the cover screen one by one. Do keep in mind, if you turn on the all apps toggle, it's not going to necessarily carry over all system apps and system dialogues. However, we have an upcoming tip that'll take care of that. But for the time being here, let's go ahead and toggle all apps so we get all of the main apps carried over to our main cover screen. And let's try this again. All right, here we are playing our YouTube video. Let's go ahead and close up the Z Fold 5. And there's our video, continuing on the front cover screen. For this next tip, have you ever wondered how many times you're folding and unfolding your Z Fold 5? Well, we can check on that. Let's go ahead and open up the Play Store. And what you're looking for is an application called Fold Counter. It'll look just like this. Go ahead and install it and open it up. And then you're going to see a screen like this. It's going to show you your total number of folds for the day, the total period since you installed the application. And you're going to have this big chonky ad down at the bottom. And we have an upcoming tip to get rid of those. So we also see here we have the ability to edit some widget text, which means we have a fold counting widget with this application. So we can tap on here. We can tap here and go ahead and change our color. I'm going to stick with something bright. I have green here. We can also pick the transparency. I don't want any transparency. I want it to come all the way through. So we'll go ahead and confirm. We'll go ahead and minimize this. And let's go ahead and add a fold counting widget to our home screen. So you're going to take two of your fingers, pinch in so we can get to the widgets. Go ahead and tap on widgets. Scroll down until we see fold counter. There it is right here. Let's go ahead and tap on this. And you see here that we have a one by one widget that we can add. Let's go ahead and tap and hold. All right, now we're going to drop it somewhere on our home screen. That looks good right there. So here's how this works is this application is going to track all your folds and unfolds. So now we're going to go ahead and fold it. We'll go ahead and unfold it again and go ahead and get back in. I'm using a fingerprint scanner for biometrics and you'll see it up the count to eight. Let's go ahead and do that again. Go ahead and unfold it and it up the count to nine. However, one thing to keep in mind, what I do notice about this app and via another way that we learned how to do this with Bixby routines with like the Z Fold 3, is that if you have the power off like this and you go to fold it and unfold it, it doesn't always accurately track it. It did this time, it counted the fold, but I wouldn't count on it to be 100% effective if you do have the power off. For our next tip, one thing that kind of drives me nuts is we have to swipe down two times to get to our brightness slider. Let's go ahead and fix that real quick. Swipe down to get to your quick toggles. Swipe down again to extend the full menu here. And you're going to tap on the three ellipsis menu here at the top right. And then we're going to tap on quick panel layout. Once there, we have this brightness control. Go ahead and tap on the blue text. And we're going to switch this option to show always. Go ahead and tap on that. Tap done. We'll go ahead and exit out of everything here. And now when we swipe down on our quick toggles, our brightness slider will be right there with it. For our next tip, if you're like brand new to the Z Fold series or these Galaxy devices in general, you got to make sure Dolby Atmos is turned on. Swipe down two times so you get to all your quick toggles. Scroll over to the right and then Dolby Atmos is right there. Want to go ahead and tap on that to turn on that toggle. That's going to definitely boost your audio performance. For our next tip, did you know that you can use your main shooters to actually take selfies? Let me show you how to do it real quick. Start by opening up the camera application. Make sure you're in photo mode and you have one of the rear lenses selected. Up here on the top right hand corner, you want to go ahead and tap the rightmost icon. That's going to let you know that it's going in self-portrait mode when using the rear lenses. Now when we flip the device over, you're going to see a point straight up at my YouTube camera. We're now taking selfies with the main shooters. For this next tip, let's go ahead and improve Wi-Fi performance on our Z Fold 5 when using it with our home wireless networks. Swipe down, we're gonna go ahead and open up settings, tap on connections, tap on Wi-Fi, tap on the three dot menu up here on the top right corner. 
and there's an option for intelligent Wi-Fi. Let's go ahead and tap on that. Scroll all the way down until you get to the bottom. Now you're going to tap on intelligent Wi-Fi a whole bunch of times. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. All right. Scroll down a little bit further and you see that you now have an option called Wi-Fi Developer Options. Go ahead and tap on that. And then we want to pick this middle option here, Nearby Wi-Fi Information. Go ahead and tap on that. Once you're here, go ahead and tap on the rightmost text here. It's called Channel Utilization. Tap on that. Now what you're going to see right here is some text that's going to tell you what is the best channel for your 2.4 gigahertz band and what is the best channel to use with your 5 gigahertz band. So what you're able to do is take these two channels, go into your wireless router and update it to use these channels for 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. This is going to give you the best network bandwidth in your home wireless network. So basically you have this tool built into your Samsung phone that's telling you what are the best channels to use for each one of the bands in your home wireless network. That's pretty awesome. All right, for this next tip, remember earlier we talked about not all apps getting carried over to the front cover screen? Well, here's a way that we can guarantee that everything gets piped over to the cover screen when you're viewing it on the main screen. First thing you need is Samsung GoodLock. If you don't know what GoodLock is, I'm gonna go ahead and drop a link down in the description so you can get familiar with it. Basically, it's a powerhouse suite of tools brought to you by Samsung that lets you completely customize your device and it's available for the Z Fold 5, and you can find it for free in the Samsung Galaxy Store. I already have it installed. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. And once GoodLock opens, what we're looking for is this module called Multistar. So the first time you go to use it, you're gonna to have to download it and install it. Just like right here, you see for Nice Shot, it's given me a download link here. So it's the same thing for Multishot. It's a one-time deal, and once you have it installed, you're gonna go ahead and open it up. And you're going to see we have a section strictly for our foldable device. Let's go ahead and tap on that. And if you scroll down just a little bit, you're going to see an option here, continue all apps on cover screen. And if you go ahead and turn this on, everything that's on your main screen will get sent over to your cover screen when it's folded up. We're going to do a separate video on all the options here in Multistar soon, but I think this is a really cool way of guaranteeing that you're going to have everything on your main screen get piped over to your outer cover screen. All right, for this next tip, do you remember earlier when we talked about that big chonky ad showing up in the Fold Counter app? Let's go ahead and learn how we can get rid of a lot of these system-wide ads. Swipe down to open up your quick toggles, tap on the settings cogwheel. In the connections menu, you want to scroll down until you see more connection settings. Let's go ahead and tap on that. And then we're going to have an option called private DNS. Go ahead and tap on that. And then once you do, you want to switch it from automatic to private DNS, and you want to enter this in right here, dns.adguard.com. Go ahead and hit save. And now when you go to load up any type of application or periodical or news article, like I'm going to show you right here, if I go to my Google feed and I open up one of these articles, well, there's one thing you're not going to see. You're not going to see an ad at the bottom. Let's go ahead and open up another one. Nice, nice, dns.adguard.com. For this next tip, do you ever wish that your videos would be just a little bit brighter than what they are when you're playing them? Well, we have an option for that. Let me show you. Swipe down to open up the quick toggles menu, tap on the settings toggle. We're gonna scroll down until we get to advanced features. Go ahead and tap on that. And then you wanna scroll all the way down on the right until you see video brightness. Let's go ahead and tap on that. And we have two options here. The default is normal. And then we have another option here called Bright. And if we go ahead and tap on Bright, it's gonna load up a list of applications that support getting extra bright when this option is enabled. You see here we have YouTube Kids and there's YouTube enabled. So now when I open up YouTube, it's gonna be just a little bit brighter than the other applications on my device. For our next tip, one of the most awesome things about the Z Fold 5 is its multitasking capabilities and the ability to have more than one app open on the screen. But it does have one limitation, let me show you. So I've got the Play Store open here, and we have it open in my recent apps. I'm gonna go ahead and tap on the top so we can start a split screen session for another application. Let's go ahead and tap on that. So Samsung is asking me, which app do you wanna show on the right hand side? Well, the app that I wanna show here is my camera application for my YouTube camera up above us. But I see it's not in the list here, so let's go ahead and find it. All right, there it is right there, Camera Connect. Let's go ahead and fire that up so I can have my camera application and the Play Store open both at the same time. Oh, unfortunately, it looks like it is not supported with my camera application. Let's fix that. 
Swipe down to open up your quick toggle settings. Tap on the settings icon. We're going to scroll all the way down until we get to advanced features. Go ahead and tap on that. And then we're going to tap on labs. And then we're going to tap on this toggle right here, multi window for all apps. Let's go ahead and turn that on and let's go ahead and try this again. Once again, we have the Play Store open and I'm showing it in my recent apps. Let's go ahead and start a multi-app session here. All right, once again, Samsung's asking me to pick the app that I'd like to show on the right-hand side. Let's go ahead and find the Camera Connect application. Here's our Camera Connect. Let's go ahead and tap on that. Gives us a little warning that it may not work properly, but look what we have here, a fully functioning camera application as well as our Google Play Store. So if you ever face this compatibility issue, just head over into labs and switch that toggle on. For our next tip, let's take a look at flex mode, something that's very specific to the Z Fold. So it's a really cool feature. If we open up our camera application real quick, we can see it in action. So there's our default viewfinder. That's what it looks like. But when we go ahead and fold up our Z Fold, look what it turns into. We have this whole shooting array over here where we can pick all our modes. Our viewfinder now goes up to the top and we have the ability to look at pictures that we take right here in the gallery on the left-hand side. But you know what's even more cool? Is that we can enable flex mode for almost any application. Let me show you how to do that real quick. You're gonna to wanna to swipe down to open up your quick toggles, and let's go ahead and tap on that settings icon once more. We're gonna scroll down until we get to advanced features. Tap on that, and then we're gonna head over into labs, and then we're gonna have an option towards the bottom called flex mode panel. Let's go ahead and tap on that. You see here that we have the option to enable our flex mode panel, and we also have the ability down here to fine tune the applications that we want this to turn on by default. So this is an awesome way for you to add that bottom functionality to almost any application on your phone. All right, so that wraps up the first round of tips and tricks for the Galaxy Z Fold 5. We're gonna have a lot more of these coming, and I hope you enjoyed this video. You notice we didn't really touch on too many generic Android tips. Most of these tips were specific to the Z Fold. If you have any questions or comments about today's video, please drop them down in the comments section below. I always appreciate your time, and as always, thanks for watching.